Shipping has set a course for a cleaner future, but there's a long journey ahead. For those that can help to steer that course, a global market awaits. Contributors to this programme have helped us summarise the key ingredients we need to enable the transition. For the past decade, shipping's been on a transformative journey towards becoming greener and cleaner, and its work is starting to bear fruit. But it's out at sea and on the ships that transport 90% of the world's food, products and fuel, where perhaps shipping's greatest challenge still lies. Cleaner shipping means greater opportunity for all, for ship owners and for consumers. Cleaner shipping means that all the goods and products that you buy on the shelves in the shops will have come to you through a carbon neutral pathway. Cleaner shipping means a brighter future. And I think the way that we get there is through technology, and collaboration. Working together is the path towards a cleaner future. Cleaner shipping for me means uh, vessels being built in the next one, two, three years will actually be built with vastly reduced carbon burn and ultimately getting to zero carbon in the next five to ten years. All industry players pulling in the same direction with a common goal and that goal needs to be to reduce emissions, increase efficiency and get to a net zero emission shipping industry. Good environmental performance translates almost exclusively to good business. Most of the CO2 emissions come from the fuel that you burn, and if you can reduce your CO2 emissions, typically you'll be burning less fuel, and that's good business. So there's a lot that's going on already in that space, but of course it's never enough and there's always more to do. Every day I can see more money invested into green solutions. Every day I can see new interest in green shipping. Every day I can see new solutions coming into the market. We have solutions that are going to be coming online in a matter of months, not years. And so the important thing is the regulation is ambitious. The technology is here, you might not always know about it, but it's there. So drive forward, insist on zero emissions, transportation on the water. Society has solved much bigger problems than a conversion of an energy supply chain from one commodity to another, which is primarily what we're talking about here. What we need is the government commitment to drive it at the speed it needs to happen, and then investment and capital will fall into place. Market changes are pushing a lot of operators in the right way, but ultimately it's going to be regulation that is going to ensure that everyone follows across that piece, across the industry. Regulations drive change, um, especially a global regulation for a global industry such as shipping is so much needed to make sure that everybody follow the same regulations and we have a playing, level playing field. One of the most positive developments we're seeing at the moment is collaboration between governments and industry to invest in R&D or to invest in the infrastructure necessary for new fuels to come online. I think one of the key things is around adopting not, maybe not just the Paris goals and maybe not just thinking about the IMO but maybe going slightly beyond that and thinking about the 2017 Sustainable Development Goals. I think the companies who've really embraced that have come up with something that feels to me a bit braver and I think as a result it energises people and you can see the difference. I think we're starting to see the joined up thinking. We're seeing ship owners who traditionally would never have thought about the climate or the environment um, actually now applying and really interested in the technologies that we can work in and actually apply those on ships to actually solve these challenges. Momentum and this awareness and uh, agreement of the industry to, to accept the decarbonisation challenge is incredibly important. In order to make a difference in the future it's essential that we act today. Cleaner shipping means a brighter future for, for our children. Cleaner shipping means a longer life for all and a future for shipping. The scale of this challenge is clear, but the answers and solutions are within our grasp. Thank you for watching.